Hey, what's up guys? I'm Bright Torn and welcome back to Heart of Time 4 as we are playing as the Byzantine Empire. So the first thing we're going to do in today's episode is we're actually going to be changing up our spirit of the army. We currently have the Professional Officer Corps that got us the more army experience gain and the reduction of land doctrine costs. And neither of those are all that helpful to us right now. Same thing with the, the daily command power gain. I mean, it, it helps, I suppose. You build that up quicker, but uh, there, there's better stuff we could get here, guys. So we don't need this one uh, or this one. A little power, I mean, we still are using it, but uh, yeah, I don't really think that's gonna be the best thing for us to get. So I'm thinking either accomplished heritage in order to reduce the cost of granting the medals. Uh, that would actually be really helpful considering the fact that that's the main thing we're using our political power for. Uh, you also get a uh, field officer division penalty reduction. We could also get the elevated engineering core, increasing entrenchment speed, and then it also gives some bonuses when it comes to the engineers. Uh, but yeah, that's, you know, the experience gain, I guess, would be helpful. But I think we'd be better off going with the accomplished heritage, just given what we're currently working on. And yeah, I don't see anything else being better than that. So that's what we're going to change over to. And that will allow us to get these medals, these citations, for cheaper. So you see, rather than being 30 uh, political power, it's now only going to be 15. And so it's just going to allow us to get these done uh, because we have a lot of medals to give out. Uh, so let's go ahead and give this unit some organization here. It appears that's all we're going to be able to grant for right now. But yeah, we'll be able to get those citations handed out a little bit quicker now. All right, so we're attacking across the river over here towards Verona. I saw that that Italian unit is really weak. Uh, let's go ahead and have these units push forward here as well. Actually, let's do it this way. And then we're going to have these guys come towards Trento and uh, attempt to get behind all these divisions here get them cut off and, and hopefully getting into Italy here is gonna be really easy because they don't have the divisions to stop us now we do have other areas that we're fighting in so we need to make sure that we're uh, you know concentrating on those additional places see if he can end that defense there but yeah we don't want to only focus on Italy uh, like we could be pushing into Germany and getting more war score here. Going after those victory points uh, in particular. And I guess we can go grab Warsaw. And that'll be worth a good little chunk of points here since it's 25 victory points. And uh, the number of victory points that a province is worth does control how much you get for the occupation points. Alright, so when does this guy leave here? We'll just kind of dip up behind him. Yeah, we'll just let him leave. And then get Lublin behind him. Same thing here, we'll probably just let this guy leave here. So we're also still pushing forward across this side of the front. Though not seeing any openings here. So we got these guys advancing over here, we'll have them go actually. Let them continue that and then push forward over here instead. And I'm guessing I was having him take that because there wasn't anybody there at the time. Obviously there is now. So let's instead just get up behind him, get him cut off. All right, so let's go ahead and have this unit go over here. Well, this guy's gonna sweep through this territory, and then he's gonna wipe out these units here with a little bit of assistance. Now have him come over this way. Now some people have asked about declaring war on the Fourth International since we do control so much of their territory. We will see how things look after the peace treaty, guys. Because, you know, they're going to get all this territory back. Well, I mean, they're going to get the German territory back. I assume they'll get this back as well. Since they're in the central powers, they're minor powers. So they don't actually have to be conquered. Uh, so, yeah, I assume they'll uh, lose all this here. And then it'll go back to the Russians. So it really depends on how much we take here. And uh, just the way the, uh, you know, the world looks and the map looks after that peace treaty. I really can't say. Uh, whether or not we'd want to declare war on them, but yeah, if we've already conquered, let's say we, we control I don't know how far we'll get at that point. But let's say we control all the way up through here I mean, you're gonna have to fight this way anyways because this is part of the Allies So you got to fight them here and so if you're advancing up here towards the north I mean you already have a huge chunk of Russia conquered uh, particularly all those those victory points and so in that sense, it's like It's not a lot of work to just finish it up finish the conquest of Russia up and then get that peace treaty 
So yeah, I can definitely see doing that. Uh, let's go and get this area here taken. Sweep across all this. And you know what? I kind of want to get across this river here, though. We're, we're definitely exposing ourselves to being cut off. So it's a bit of a risk here. Uh, also, we could be advancing over here. Let's see if we can win that. We can. All right, we're going to go this way then. Kind of push all the borders forward. Hmm. You know what? Let's go this way. That's the way we'll do it. We'll get across a river and then not as ex you know be as exposed. Because we're going to try and get a get through here and get that unit cut off, that Italian division. And we'll see how well that ends up working out. We've got a very wide front that we're covering and we're manually controlling, you know, all the divisions. So this is kind of slow going right now, as to be expected. And let's go this way. All right, so we're no longer winning here. We're going to have to stop that then. It's a shame. We were trying to cut that division off. And uh, we failed in that attempt. And yeah, just not a whole lot to be done over here. Just continue kind of working on destroying these divisions as we cut them off. And we're going to go ahead and help out with this one. While he's just going to go ahead and advance the front this way. Same thing here. Let's just go ahead and fill this in. Alright, that'll work. And then, already got somebody trying to take care of this for us, but we have another unit here that can do this. Alright, let's go and advance through here. And then we're going to take this province as well, and this one here. Cut off that one German division. And yeah, their passiveness is just kind of allowing us to easily cut them off and wipe them out. Alright, let's go ahead and advance over here. And we have taken this victory point, so let's go after another one. And then we'll fill this in over here. Alright, so we're already attacking them that way. We'll just have this guy come over here then. So yeah, they could very easily cut us off by taking this province. So we'll move somebody over there since this is too wide here. Two provinces wide. Alright, and then we're going to continue taking all these provinces here. Once we get those guys cut off, we'll get them destroyed. Uh, we did advance across the river here, so let's now take this province to cut off him. And now we just need to get these guys wiped out. And we'll see how effective that is. We'll have to go this way. And then... He's already going over here, so we're going to allow him to do that. Let's bring this guy over here. We're going after that airbase next. Yeah, it looks like the Italians are distracted. They have their troops elsewhere. And so they're just kind of allowing us to, to conquer their territory at this point. Very easily. Uh, let's go and advance over here. Uh, looks like this should be a win. Yeah, that's a win. Alright, we're going to go ahead and take that province since nobody's defending it. Alright, we're just bringing more divisions over here. And also, we can advance into these provinces here. So we'll get those snatched up. Alright, so he's already got orders. Uh, they are coming up behind us. About to take this province here. When do we get over here? Soon. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We'll just sweep through here. We'll get cut off temporarily. And we'll just have to deal with that by cutting off this guy up behind him is what I'm thinking. We'll grab this port so we're not completely cut off. And then let's bring this guy over to here. That will allow him to attack this cut off division. This Italian cut off division from Verona. And then uh, also keep him from advancing any further as this guy works to, to cut that, that division off as well. Alright, so we are losing there, but we're about to get more assistance once this division gets there. So just waiting on that. Just making sure we're wiping out all these troops here. And since he's so weak, we're just going to have him continue to advance the front. Let's go this way as well. And we should probably fill this in. So we'll have him go that way next. Let's go and advance up here. And yeah, we'll get across. Well, it looks like he's already... I'm not entirely sure which direction he's going, but we'll get there first, so... Alright, so unfortunately... This guy's still too weak to be able to do that attack, so we're going to have to wait. Hmm, maybe we should go like this. Let's send this guy over here. Although he'll just take off, won't he? 
Yeah, he'll just take off somewhere else. Hmm. Okay. And neither one of them are really uh, in good enough organization to do that attack yet. Can we cut off these guys here? Alright, let's just attack there for now and support. Obviously, there's still some effort that has to be done here. But yeah, we're not going to go there just yet because we don't want to leave ourselves exposed. Let's go ahead and take these provinces here. We've already got that guy assigned. Alright, so we have cut off this division here. Excellent. Uh, so let's go and take the stronger one and attack, get him wiped out, and then just go ahead and push up along the borders here. Again, I was going to stop uh, at the river, but yeah, let's just take this to see what happens after the peace treaty, guys. Because, you know, this would go back to the, the Soviets once the Germans capitulate. However... If it's in our hands, then it would not. Now, we could go ahead and get Berlin from up behind the Germans to force their capitulation, but that actually, I don't know if that's, that's all that beneficial to us, because if we don't take Berlin, then we can we can take more territory from the Germans and get more of it under our control. Now, given this might all go to us anyways, as long as it's uh, German-owned, I assume we'd get control of it. But it's hard to say. Also, taking uh, Berlin would get us more points. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how things are going to develop now because of the uh, the peace treaty. We just don't know. All right, so this clearly is not going to work. We we're waiting on that one division to get here, but it's taking too long. All right, and more Italians are coming down here. Okay, so that's a problem. So this is actually the probably the faster way to go here and just have him go over this way. All right, we're still bringing this division over here. We've got ourselves a port. And he's still moving to cut us off. He'll be there in two hours, reconnecting that division. But he's going to leave anyway, so we'll just have this guy come over here. And let's just go and continue to take these provinces here. Remember, our planes are over here, but we did just get all those other planes that I, I pulled out of the stockpile. Uh, we need to merge these, but unfortunately we cannot merge these cl too close air support. This new plane system is so broken, man, where it's like they can't reinforce close air support. Like before, it didn't really matter. Uh, close air support would always reinforce close air support. It didn't matter what model they had. But now it's like, oftentimes it seems like they have to be the same model. Not all the time. Sometimes they reinforce as they should. So a new model of fighter uh, will replace the uh, you know, replace the losses of a, a fighter wing that was using older plane models, but it doesn't always work that way. And, and here we have two planes. There's absolutely no reason why these two should not be able to to join up together, but for whatever reason, they cannot. Like I used to think that it had to do with the missions. So if you designed a plane that could do different missions, uh, then it wouldn't be able to combine, you know, with another plane because that would cause confusion. You know, you had certain planes in the air wing that could do, let's say, a uh, close air support mission while other planes couldn't. So I understood that. As long as they all had the same mission, though, I assumed, like the same set of missions that they could combine. But I've noticed that's not the way this has been working at all. It's just sometimes they let you merge them and sometimes they don't. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure why it's why they did that. Honestly, I think it's not a good change. So now we're sitting here with two really small air wings. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of them for now. Because, yeah, you can't merge them. Which is, uh, I don't know. It's not a good change, in my opinion. Like, I like some of the changes to the fighter wings. And I understand why they changed them. But, uh, I don't know. It just feels like, overall, it's been a, a net negative. With them changing the, uh, the air wings. So we don't want to do this Stalingrad mission. Not right now, anyways. We find ourselves short on aluminum. And we're still in control of the province, so maybe... Maybe it'll be something we want to do. So yeah, trying to get this Italian situation dealt with. And once he takes this, we're going to have him wipe out that division. Alright, so he's already sweeping through here. We've already got this guy taking this province. We've already won here as well, and this is not going to work, so... Let's just go ahead and stop that until we're able to concentrate our attacks a bit more. Uh, we're going to attack over here as well. Uh, getting Munich might be enough to force their capitulation. I guess we're just going to beat this guy back, though, for right now. Because they're pretty close. Uh, let's go ahead and take uh, this province across the river here. And everybody's all kind of messed up right now, aren't they? 
yeah, everything's all messed up at this moment. It's just kind of a mess because of all the different uh, factions that are up on these these borders. I'm gonna take all that, and yeah, we'll probably have to go after Berlin here. Hmm. Yeah, I'll probably just leave that guy there for now. Again, it's just kind of a mess at this moment. And we'll bring this guy over here. Make sure this guy stays here. And let's go and take all this over. All right, so we got across the river here. So let's just keep on advancing. Taking this territory. And I can see if we can win here. Yeah, we're not going to win there. Hmm. All right, so this is what we'll do. We'll attack here. Oh, it looks like we got another division trying to take a province. So let's just... Yeah, it's fine. Let's just go over here, guys. And then we'll just pull back on this. At least we got that unit there wiped out. Freeing up our own division. Still winning there as well. And let's have this guy take that airbase. He's filling in those three provinces. So I suppose we'll have this division go across here. While this guy advances up this way and fills it in. We got some more military factories. So let's go and see where we want to assign these. So I mean, we're short just about everything. Yeah, very few things do we have a surplus of. Basically, the two things we're not using, artillery and like trains. There's not much of anything else. I guess we have a few planes out there, but yeah. Overall, we're short most things that we need. Those will put these into the self-propelled artillery here. Yeah, let's go and actually get a few more invested. We'll do anti-air since we have a shortage there. And how are we doing on rubber? We do have some rubber. Though we might want to pull back on our rubber that we're currently trading for. So maybe not use any more of that so that as we get these done here, we can actually pull back on rubber trade if we wanted to. All right, so let's go and do this attack. Get these guys wiped out. Actually, let's have this guy do it. Then we'll bring him over to this front. And also, let's make sure they've got a planning bonus. All right, so sweep it through here. Uh, we want to go after Milan next. But we're going to let that one unit leave there. Unless we get here first. In which case, we'll let him attack us across the river. All right, so it looks like we're going to allow those two guys to get over here. Well, actually, let's just attack across the river here with both of our divisions. So we can take that province there. Uh, so working on destroying that unit. And let's see what happened over here. Just an American convoy that was sunk. All right, so still trying to get that guy destroyed. It looks like we just completed that. Excellent. And make sure that these guys are staying on these fronts over here. Did these fronts combine? No. You know what? Let's just go ahead and put them on there. And then we'll just stretch this out here, guys. To cover the whole front. It's fine. Alright, so let's go and take... Actually, nope. Let's let this guy move forward. We'll just go up behind him. And then let's go and advance across here. And also up this way. Make sure all of our units are moving forward. Uh, we did get our national focus completed. Greek mechanization. So research bonus there that we'll be able to use for the... I think the last mechanized tech is where we're at. But yeah, we're going to be moving on to this here. Getting us those research bonuses for the mountain infantry. And also just giving us some straight up uh, bonuses for all our infantry troops. It looks like infantry, marines, mountaineers, and uh, paratroopers are going to be getting some bonuses to... Well, it depends on, on what unit it is. Defense, attack, and movement in mountains, essentially. Alright, so that'll be helpful. Uh, we did sink an Italian submarine. Is that the first, like, ship we've sunk of theirs? I feel like it is. Like, we sunk a lot of convoys, but... That might be the first ship that we've sunk. Now, I believe we did that with that, uh... With those planes that we have there. Alright, so let's go ahead and sweep over to Genoa. And get that snatched up. All right, so he's going over here, so we'll have him go take out those provinces. And then these guys, hopefully they're all assigned to come over here. 
So let's move over there. Make sure they're coming here. And this is unfortunately not successful. Okay, a little surprise in there. Alright, so we're going to come up over here and get Munich. So we're not able to push any more forward towards Berlin. Uh, I don't really want to let him take any more promises. Let's just attack him. And then this guy can sweep up behind him and get him cut off. Let me see. Can he go... Okay, so that province does not connect. So we'll just go through here and uh, then we'll be able to get that unit wiped out. Let's have... This guy's too weak, so we're just going to have him go over here. And then we'll have one of these guys come over here. Who's the other guy currently assigned? Oh, would figure it'd be the other one. Alright, so we'll have him come over this way. And he's already got five going there, so we'll have him come over this way. And let's make sure these guys are advancing, since they're just kind of sitting around not doing anything. Collected a paycheck. Uh, so yeah, we'll sweep through here and grab all this. And all of this here. Alright, so yeah, Bummer kind of stalled out on this front. We have just not been able to, uh, to advance up along here. No success with those efforts. And I'm not entirely sure. Looks like these are, are coming to the front, so we'll let them continue. I'm not entirely sure why they're going the way they are. Alright, we'll have this guy advance all throughout here. Alright, looking good. And this guy still hasn't left yet. Waiting for mere hours, so it'll stick around here. And then attack this way. So the Germans have really stuck this out here, haven't they? Like, they have lost most of their country, but because they still have Berlin, they're sitting at 91%. I guess they have Munich as well, and that's worth a lot of points. So, just taking Munich might be enough. Let's go and take this province here. And let's make sure this guy stays here. They're just all taking off and, and leaving. Because we have all these different fronts that are being created. Let's take this guy and have him come over here so we can try and advance towards Berlin. Alright, so this guy's sweeping through here. Gonna take that province. And you know what? Let's have this guy go here and help out on this attack because clearly we need assistance there. Also gonna get that attack done. And we'll have this guy push forward here. Well, it looks like we actually have a defender here, so we'll have to stop that, let him attack us. And I guess we'll go to cross this river. Alright, so this guy's finally leaving. Alright, so we'll let him leave and we'll take that province and, and get that guy cut off. Yeah, not much that we can do up along this front, for the most part. I guess there's a little bit of openings here. Yeah, we'll push forward here now. Uh, we took uh, this province. But not much to be done after that. The unit's a little too weak now at this point. Alright, let's see what we can do up along here, though. Then we'll just sweep through here, grab all this territory. And go just keep on filling this in. And also, there's units up along here not doing anything, so let's go and fix that. Uh, let's go... Like so. I'm trying to make it so it's not going to be like easy to cut us off, since, you know, again, we're not really... I guess we'll go this way, because we're not really paying attention to these fronts very well. They're controlling a bunch of different fronts at the same time. Alright, so let's go and... I kind of want to leave a little bit of an open here between us and, and the British. And France, just so we don't have to fight them there. Uh, you know what? We don't want them to cut us off, so let's go and do this attack here. And then we'll go ahead and thicken this up a little bit. So these are two separate fronts, so let's go ahead and bring these guys over here. And they'll sweep through here. And then maybe bring... I don't know. Yeah, we just need more... we need more units at this point. Is this guy done training? He's not. Now we'll go and attack him here. And we have Munich, which is uh, apparently not enough to force their capitulation. 98%, so very, very close. But not there. Uh, let's go after Berlin now, since we can get a lot of points if we can take that, and that would force the Germans' capitulation. Now we're going to take that province as well. And uh, this guy's already doing all this for us. Okay. So let's have him... You know, I kind of want somebody else coming over here to Italy, so let's go ahead and do that. I know he's coming from far. That's okay. Uh, you know what? This guy's going to come over here. 
trying to kind of account for the fact that the the fronts are about to change here. Germans should capitulate very soon. Uh, we have more military factories. I'm hesitant to assign these though, because we're about to lose factories. Yeah, let's not mess with this anymore, guys, because you know it's going to mess the, all the the factory situation up. We're going to have to pull those factories back very soon here, because yeah, the uh, Germans are going to capitulate any moment. It's not going to last much longer. So I don't want to, uh, you know, cause any problems with the factories. Uh, we did wipe out that one unit there, so let's just go and continue advancing the front up along here, just until the Germans capitulate. We'll just continue to take this territory here. And I guess we'll sweep up behind these guys. Maybe just go here for now and see how things look. And then, you know what, actually let's go ahead and use this unit to kind of connect with this. He's still going over here, that's fine. And let's go ahead and grab all this territory. Now again, this whole front is about to change here very soon. I'm going to take this province now, and looks like we just got a win right here. I don't know if we can do that. Let's try going over to this. We try here as well. That would be a win. So let's see how we've done with those convoys. So this is the Italian fleet that we've been bombing. We sunk that submarine. We'll have to see if we have any more success sinking their ships. You know, I forgot that these this is the Italians that are in the same faction as the British. So yeah, we can get up on this border. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it might wake them up a little bit more because it's territory they occupy rather than the territory that their uh, enemies, or excuse me, their allies occupy. We're going to go out over here and see if we can't cut this guy off instead of what I was going to do. But yeah, there's no reason not to uh, push forward to their, their border. Uh, we're going to get this guy wiped out. Yeah, that should be pretty easy. And then have him push into French occupied territory. Alright, let's go ahead and cut this guy off. Now, I don't know that's, that's even going to end up happening. Since the peace treaty is going to be firing here soon. Though, again, they are sticking out longer. Than I expected. Let's go and pull. We'll just completely delete that so that nobody will go over there. And then we'll go ahead and start taking this territory here. And let me see. Yeah, we'll go ahead and attack across the river. It's fine. Uh, when's this guy leave? Matter of hours, so we'll come up behind him. Though we would be really easy to cut off, so probably not going to go this way right now. We don't have any assistance here. We're still waiting for this division to leave. It looks like it's relevant because there's another one over here. Uh, that's going to be a failure. I was going to attack from here, but yeah, he's just too weak. So that's not going to work out for us. Uh, we do have a division here not doing anything, so let's go to make sure he gets to work. Alright, we're still taking that province. It looks like we're probably going to lose here. So let's take all this territory over. Alright, and he's already assigned to take that for us. And there we go. Germany capitulated. They did not have a lot of equipment left, it looks like. Not surprising they lost all their factories quite some time ago. So now we're going to just try and get as much as we possibly can, uh, but we got to prioritize, I feel like we have to prior prioritize Bulgaria. Now you'll notice that certain countries are in here that you might not think of when you think of uh, Germany and Austria-Hungary such as France, or you know, parts of North Africa. That is because they uh, took those in that peace treaty. All right, so I feel like we have to prioritize Bulgaria. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna take all Bulgaria over. I know we had talked about, you know, getting some of the fleets here. But yeah, I don't, I don't think that's gonna be our priority, guys. I, I think we should prioritize land. So let's go ahead and, and prioritize as much of this land as we can get. Uh, so I do want that one there. I'd like to get all this here as well. Uh, how many points do we have total? We have a lot. We have a lot of points. Okay, so let's go ahead and take all this over then. Since that was all German territory. All right, so that's it for Africa, it looks like. And so now we're going to want to start moving into Austria, Hungary, and Italy. So as far as what we're going to annex and what we're going to puppet, 
I'm not entirely sure what we need to get that last decision here for Italy. Like you'd assume it would just be Italy. And so, you know, if you took all this here, you'd be good to go. Uh, so we're gonna do that at the very least. But as far as like the Austria-Hungarian territory, I don't know, man. I feel like I kind of want to take this over just because it would look better if we took over, at the very least, like Austria. Like, uh, I don't see us taking Czechoslovakia or Bohemia, if we want to call it that. Yeah, I don't see us taking this. That would probably be better to instead pop at them. But yeah, just border-wise, I think it would look nicer if we took over some of this here. And so I think we are going to go ahead and annex that. Yeah, this is a weird situation over here. We do want control of that so we can annex it. It looks like we're already seeing that we're we're now losing points for some of these more expensive ones. Yeah, we're going to do that one. I, I would like to be able to create some subjects as well. Let's go after this one here. I'm not sure about that one there, guys. But let's take these ones for right now. We still have some points. It looks like that would be all that we can get. Oh, we can get this one as well. Remember, we can always release these countries later if we want to. But what I'm thinking is like right here. I was going to say up along the river, but I guess you're across the river right here. I suppose you could take Slovakia and kind of end it here and that would look pretty good. And then that would you want that to go back to, to Poland. And then you release Czechoslovakia. Now, they're not going to be getting all their territory. In fact, they're not getting Slovakia at all. So they really shouldn't be called Czechoslovakia. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure who this would go to. I assume Czechoslovakia. No matter what, you're going to have a weird situation here. Actually, it's probably better to go to Poland, even though they don't have a core there. Like this would be what Czechoslovakia gets here. And that would be the end of our, our uh, annexation as well. That's all we have the points for right now. And yeah, we got three points remaining, so we're probably not going to be able to get anything uh, ship-wise. Yeah, you can see you can't get much of here. I suppose you can get their ships, Latvia's ships. I guess we could take them. Why not? Yeah, so we'll take those over too. Uh, but that's all we're going to be able to do for right now. Yeah, these are all going to be too expensive, attempting to like pop at anybody. So let's go ahead and, and submit our demands. And there was several states that were contested, so we're going to go ahead and make our demands there. All right, so we have additional uh, points now, so let's go ahead and get the rest of the territory that I want here. Slovakia. And like I said, I think we're just going to give all this up here. I'm not sure what happened here. It looks like maybe the, the Soviets took that. Okay, well I want that to go to Poland eventually, so another reason why I might want to go to war with the 4th International here. So I'm thinking that this would be, again, Czechoslovakia here. Yeah, I think that's all we're going to be annexing. Yeah, I don't think we're going to annex anything else. Although we could annex that and then give it up to the Swiss Confederation. Just hand it over to them. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. It's only 17 points. Uh, Corsica. We should probably take Corsica as well. So we'll take that. Alright, so we're looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and now start creating subjects. Uh, so we're going to create some puppets here. So I think the first one should be Czechoslovakia. But we don't actually want satellites. We want to puppet them. There's a lot of people we can either, either satellite or puppet. But you don't have the option of puppeting everybody. Okay, I see. All right, so we just have to go with what we can, what we can do. I would like to to puppet the Germans as well, eventually. But I think we should first do Czechoslovakia. I'm just wondering why they're not an option to uh, create a puppet state instead. I'm not sure how the game determines who you can satellite and who you can puppet. But as you can see, there is no option to puppet Czechoslovakia. So instead, we're just going to go ahead and satellite them. Basically, we want to give them all of this except for that one right there. Because I just don't think it would look very good if they had that one. So we're going to leave that one open and we'll deal with it at some other time. 
So we're gonna go and satellite them. Still got points, so it probably makes sense to do Germany next. Yeah, I think it makes the most sense to do Germany. Uh, so let's go ahead and do so. So let's puppet them rather than satelliting them. And we should probably start, and I should probably go ahead and just start with Brandenburg, you know, the capital. And then just make sure we connect to our own territory here. So then there's the question of like, where do we want Germany's borders to be? Yeah, you could release a bunch of different countries here. Like if we wanted to release Silesia or something, I don't think we'll do that. We'll probably just rather have a stronger uh, Germany. But then there's the question of where, where to put Poland. Because they do share a lot of cores over here. But I guess we should go and just start with getting this territory. And then see how many points we have left. Because yeah, we might not have very much here. Uh, like this one here. I'm not sure who we'll grant that to. So let's take this one for Germany, because we know that, that that's definitely going to be one that we want for Germany. Going to result in a weird situation here, but we're going to have more turns, guys. So hopefully we'll have uh, the ability to get something else. Uh, we could also take the fleets, though, I suppose, instead of going after that. Yeah, we could go after somebody's navy. So let me just see here what we've got available. So these are all cruisers. Got some 1936 cruisers. Nothing, nothing really large here. Could always pull back on that as well so that we can get more. Let me see what the Germans have. Okay, because they actually have some battleships. Let's see, I think we'd want to get those first. Because we don't have any battleships. So yeah, I think we're going to take one of those. I'm not sure which one of them is, is better here. So we'll take that one. Still leaves some points, though not enough to take anything from, from Germany. Um, so let's go ahead and get a ship from the Italians. And, and they have battleships too. Okay, I didn't see that. I thought all their battleships got sunk. It's probably because I didn't have points to take them before. That's what it was. So yeah, I'll probably just take one of these three here. And is that all we got? Yeah, that's everything. Okay. Let's go ahead and submit our demands. And of course, we're going to contest all these, even though it's going to cost us more. We've got the points. We have a lot more points than the Allies do when it comes to who helped to defeat the Central Powers. I wasn't sure how that was going to go, but uh, yeah, we did much better on score than the other countries did. So we could continue to take... Let me see how things are looking over here. Yeah, we could go and continue taking stuff for Germany. And if you like want to cut the British off from taking anything, then you should do it. Do it like so. Take the coast and take these ones here. I think that makes a lot of sense. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll go ahead and continue to puppet for the Germans. So we're going to get that one, this one, this one, and then the coastline. And that should stop them from taking any additional territory. Although they could take this here, I suppose. And there's more stuff for us to take here, but I kind of want to get these ships. Though there are other things for the Allies to work on. So are they creating a France here? And this is actually the Union of Soviet Republics. Okay, that's interesting. So there's another reason why I might end up wanting to go to, to war with the Fourth International. Just this peace treaty here is making it clear that I think going to war with them could be could be beneficial. It really depends on if they get their territory back or not. Because again, I'm not sure how that'll work out. Alright, so let's go and take a little bit more territory for the Germans then. Yeah, we'll take all this here. It's just, uh... It's this down here. That I kind of feel like we're going to give all this to Poland. I know that this is a German core here, but it's also a Polish core. And I just think it would look better. Well, it kind of depends. I'm not sure what to do with that yet. So let's just wait until we're on another peace treaty to deal with this territory here. So all this, they can do with whatever they want with it. Although I, we might be able to create our own Poland. I think we're just going to wait to deal with that as well. And just leave all this alone and let's work on, on the ships. Because that's what I really want. Since we still have to fight the, the British fleet. So why not use German and Italian ships to do that. So we're going to go after all their heavy ships. 
And of course, this will give us a, a percentage of their screens as well. And then maybe we'll take some cruisers as well. I'm not sure which ships these are here. These are the pre-dreadnoughts. There's some 1936 cruisers. So let's take those. Yeah, we'll snatch all those up. And the uh, pre-dreadnoughts, yeah, I don't see us getting those unless there's nothing else that we can get. I guess we can take these ones here. And then we'll go after that one next. Uh, and then we'll see if there's any Italian ships we can take here. Looks like these are all early cruiser holes, but yeah, we'll get the 1936 ones. All right, so let's go ahead and submit our demands. And yeah, we got a bunch of contested stuff here, which we're going to contest. All right, so we still got points left. And again, we're just gonna work on the, the ships right now, guys. Let's take as many of these as we can. All right, so we're gonna get that one. And then let's go after these Italian battleships here. So these are some of those really, really old ones. Look at that 1936. Okay, so let's just get that last, those last two German ships here, the pre dreadnoughts We'll take those. I suppose we can take the screen ships from Poland as well. And then now let's just take whatever else they got here. All right, so we've gotten all the ships here. You know, honestly, guys, I think I think we're done. Like, we could take more, but let's just deal with that in, in later treaties. Let's just, you know, make sure we're getting everything that we want here. And yeah, I'm kind of feeling like that's going to be it for us. All right, so they're making us go through multiple turns here to get all this. So we're going to have to keep on doing it until they give up on it. You know, they're making other demands as well. And it's just going to just be until it's so expensive they can't do it anymore. All right, so I think we're done. So let's go and confirm an exit. And then we'll see how the world looks like after this, this peace treaty here. Because it's probably going to be a mess. All right, so that answers the question is what happens with the, the Fourth International. They did get all their territory back. All right, so that creates some, some serious issues for us. So in the Treaty of Berlin, we got 30 states. The British got 26. The Estonia Finland League, which is part of the Allies, got 11. The Union of Soviet Republics only got three. But they do have the French Empire, uh, which is, is part of theirs. Uh, faction now, although it's fascist, interestingly. And uh, they took those states for them, but of course that's all occupied by the Allies still, for the most part. And then Venezuela took one state. And yeah, a bunch of countries were puppeted and annexed, and of course all that equipment that we got. All right, so definitely seeing some visible issues here. All right, so these guys are all in our faction here. But they're not... Yeah, it looks like they are pulled in the war. Okay, so they have been pulled into that war. Okay. So we need to get our troops out of foreign territory. We could declare war on the 4th International, but you, you have to get all these troops out. But yeah, it's such a bummer because we have to reconquer all that territory and it's such a pain. But now I feel like you almost kind of have to. Hmm. Because yeah, this is... This got all messed up because the Soviets, you know, took that territory there. All right, so clearly let's let's start by getting all our troops out of here, guys. So we want them all to come. Let's see how we want to do this. So we have the the borders up along here. So what we need to do with this Red Army is essentially just delete any orders they currently have, and then let's put them over here. Not all of them. Some of them will go elsewhere up along this border here that we have with the with the allies. But the ones that we bring over here should not be the ones that are already really close here. So let's bring well I guess I guess this front's closer so what you might want to do I'm not sure how many exactly we might want to do maybe half Close to half of it. We do half. So we're gonna take half of the army and instead have them come over here. Some of this territory is gonna be lost. 
gonna happen. Yeah, let's go move those guys over there. And then, geez, yeah, this is a absolute mess, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and have this border here encompass all of this. Now, hopefully they don't have some weird borders anywhere, the purple army, I mean. Everything's kind of a mess, though. Very much a mess everywhere. Uh, we need more troops coming over to this front as well. So let's make sure that they're doing that. Because currently we have most of this army over here. We got, well, actually it's not most. Okay, so that's fine. We'll just take one division. And have them come over to Italy. Like so. All right, looks pretty good, guys. Um, so now we know how we're looking on the military factories, and we actually have uh, a surplus still. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these assigned. Kind of feel like, well, look at all that steel we lost. Wow. All right, so that's a bit of a problem. Hmm. You know what? Let's let's not do anything right now. Let's let things update with this current situation, guys, because I feel like it's not it's not updated. Uh, so we need to destroy all these little units around here. Yeah, like all these units that have been cut off from supply need to get wiped out. Let's have this guy come over here and take care of that guy. And yeah, we'll just keep on advancing into this territory. There's no reason not to. Let's have him come over here. Yeah, let's go and push forward and take all that. And... Okay, so that's kind of weird. America got all the territory that they're in. Yeah, America's going to be so messed up now. Because they're at war with all them. Yeah, that's a lot of American divisions that are going to get wiped out. So Peace Treaty has messed some things up, guys. Pretty bad. The world's kind of a mess. I thought this was going to happen. That we'd see uh, things get kind of messy with that Peace Treaty. Not really surprising. I want well, this guy come help out and take care of that. And let's have this guy grab this province for us. Yeah, just a, a bit of a mess here, guys. Um, let's have... Hmm, yeah, he's about to lose that. Let's stretch this out. And I guess we'll go up this way. Uh, we should have Italy capitulated soon. And the Germans want to send us to unleash, sure. They're our new allies. All right, so he's going to take care of that for us. And they have now become the Baltic Unitary State. Okay, well, that's interesting. Since they, they grabbed all the land in the peace treaty. Okay. That's kind of cool. All right, so let's go ahead and have these guys change up their orders. And then they'll go across the river and take that for us. And so we have another decision available here. This is just those paramilitary trainings. So let's go and say we don't need to be notified of that. Also, I did forget we have that new fleet. So let's go and take a look at the ships that we just got here. Yeah, look at all the ships. So we can actually have fleets now. Okay. So we got uh, two battleships, two battle cruisers, and then these ships that I was unsure what they were, they were heavy cruisers. Okay, yeah, I didn't know which one those were. Let's just go ahead and get them all merged into here for now, and I'll get those sorted out. So these are the ones we got from Italy. So let's go ahead and get them all merged into one so I can get them sorted out. Just put all these fleets, well not these ones. Let's cancel that. Those are our own submarines that we built. All right, so yeah, we'll, we'll get those ones out there eventually as well. We're gonna need to completely reorganize the Navy, essentially. Yeah, you can see here that they have taken some of those factories from us. The resources haven't yet updated. Let's give it another day or so before we mess with it. All right, and then we're going to take this air base, kind of fill this in over here. All right, so he's going to go over there. We'll see if we can't wrap behind him. Still tempted to cut those units off. Yeah, just kind of getting troops all up on these, these borders here. Wiping out those guys. Though... Whose hands is this in? Yeah, this is in the Allied hands, okay. 
Yeah, just kind of a mess. Trying to figure out what's going on over here. Gonna have to wait for a lot of our troops to get up onto their borders as well. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Lots of people capitulating. Yeah, just kind of messy here. And these are all, you know, people who are moving to these provinces. All right, so we gave it a few days. Let's see where we're sitting. So I still need a lot of steel. Uh, so let's go and get these factories assigned into, I guess into something that requires rubber, since we have a little bit of access here. And uh, I was gonna stop trading, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna build some, some more planes, guys. Uh, so we'll build more uh, close air support and more fighters. But clearly, we have to deal with the the lackage of steel. Now we do have decisions available that can grant us some some steel. So go, could go ahead and take this one. That's twenty eight. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that one. We don't lack chromium, obviously. So yeah, we're just gonna have to go ahead and trade for the steel that we need here. Um, so. Could trade with the Americans, but the, the Germans, well, we don't really want to, to tick up their autonomy, so we won't trade with them. I guess we'll just trade with our allies, the Americans. So we'll need eight factories worth. But we have a ton of civilian factories, so it's not that big of an issue. Uh, we could also look at uh, infrastructure and see if there's any steel provinces that we might want to build the infrastructure on to get more steel out of them, particularly in... I mean, you really could do it anywhere. Well, core territory would be the most useful place to build in. So yeah, I think we're gonna to build these and we should probably, I should have ticked that up to the top. So yeah, let's go ahead and put these up at the top and see if there's any other locations. Not really anything here in the Balkans. Suppose you could build up Venice. You're not gonna get much there. Yeah, not gonna get a whole lot there. Probably any work done that, honestly. Okay, so yeah, there's not there's not a lot of options for steel. You get seven there. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that one there. Yeah, here you're not getting much, you're just getting one, but you're getting other resources, I suppose. That makes sense to build up Greece as well. And I guess we could build up Constantinople just because. We can't build up all the rest of the empire, but not the capital, right? That doesn't make any sense. Even though the capital doesn't really give us any resources. Yeah, that's fine. That'll give us a little bit of steel. And also... Looks like we got a division from... Our subjects. So we're just gonna let those guys train up for right now. Since they don't have any experience. Yeah, we can make use of them somewhere. Maybe have them defend somewhere. I'm just gonna attack these guys. Lock them down. I don't know where they're going, but I'm sure it's not somewhere we want them to go. All right, so we'll be taking all this territory over for our subject, Germany. And you know what? There's no reason to do that now. Yeah, we'll stay here for right now. We just need more troops over here. Yeah, we got to get more troops onto these borders, which... The problem here... Wow, I didn't realize that. Ah, oh, God damn it. The problem here is this territory is American. So because of that, we can't leave. God, this is so stupid. We'd have to ask for access, military access, to be able to leave their territory. <sighs> yeah, there's no, not really any other option unless we declare war, but then you got all these troops that are cut off from supply, so that's obviously not a good thing. I don't really want to be at war with them right now. Hmm. Yeah, I, don't, I really don't want to go to war with them right now. So we're going to have to ask them for military access. Yeah, that's the reason why none of these troops are leaving here. So yeah, they can get out of here, but they're not. Let's go, guys. Come on. <laughs> they should be getting on the rails soon and going. And we've been embargoed by Cuba. Okay. Alright, so that should let all of our troops get out of here now. It's a bummer we had to do it that way. Because, yeah, now we're giving them any territory back that we've taken. So, basically, let's move this guy over here. And we shouldn't take any more territory over here on this side of things. If it's like anything that's going to benefit the, the Soviets. Yeah, so over here, that's all going to benefit them. 
Again, it's not, uh, it wasn't a desirable, uh, desirable outcome here, but we can cancel it once we get out. We just need to get these guys out. Uh, because when you have military access, uh, then when you take over territory uh, that's theirs, you give it back to them. When you take it from an enemy who took it from them. And so that's the, the negative there. Alright, so we need more divisions coming over here. Not entirely sure why everybody's taken off here. Let's make sure they don't. Alright, we're going to get that guy wiped out. And uh, let's go after Florence. And Anconia. And then we'll also take over this province here with the airbase and try and get this cab unit cut off so we can get him destroyed. And I guess we'll push forward here since there's nobody here to stop us. And then also over here. Not... Oh, you gotta go through here. Okay, so we'll advance right there. Yeah, we can advance up along this front. It's gonna go here. So yeah, we can advance along this front, just not the eastern front, or at least not in certain locations. Yeah, I was wondering why those troops weren't moving. That, that's why. We had to get military access. Uh, we do have more military factories. Okay, so we'll get those signed the next episode. Uh, also, we've got another steel shortage. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to end today's video here. Just an absolute mess because of that peace treaty. I think it went well, though. Uh, also, we got all this territory. We took that over. Uh, Spain is not at war with anybody still. Yeah, we do have all this core territory now. Uh, also, it looks like we need trucks. Yeah, we have a shortage of trucks. Okay, that's not, not surprising. Uh, but yeah, I believe like some of this yeah, was core territory, like this one here that we got control of. Uh, but up to this point, it is not core territory. So basically just here in Tunisia, Carthage is where the cores end. And so we did get another core province there. Uh, the next uh, decision is for Italy. So we have to take all this over, and then that'll become, uh, we'll take that decision and we'll get uh, more core territory over here. And I believe that's the, the last of those decisions. So yeah, just waiting for all these troops to get back over to the front. Uh, I was worried that this might go back in their hands. But I wasn't sure how it would work. And yeah, you see it did. It did happen that way. And see, so now we just have a really weird situation over here. And so if we wanted to attack the 4th International so we could better fix what's going on in Central Europe, if we wanted to, to do that, then we'd have to invade and conquer all this territory again. Which I assume they don't have a lot of troops. Just with how, how much difficulty they're having, how much territory they were losing. I assume they're uh, lacking divisions. So maybe you can kind of sweep across it kind of quick. I don't know. Uh, but at the very least, we have to get this situation here dealt with, push them back a bit. Maybe just take all this over so you have another location here to invade from. So then you have, you know, this here is your front against the 4th International. Uh, we need more divisions, obviously, which we're working on right now. Uh, we're training those guys up and just trying to get our equipment shortages here dealt with, uh, which we're not looking too bad on that front. We got a lot of infantry equipment now, so that's good. So we can always build more uh, regular infantry divisions here. So yeah, let's go ahead and do so. We can probably build even more. How about these guys? Got some shortages there. All right, so yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at all that next episode. Uh, but yeah, once we've gotten this taken care of as well and start pushing into France, or just get all this taken over. So Belgium and France and this German territory here. Once you get this all taken over, uh, you won't be able to do the invasion just yet. Uh, now we do have a fleet at this point, uh, but it's still probably not going to contend. This is not as good as the, uh, the British fleet, I don't think. Uh, we can take a look and see what they got. How many ships they still have remaining and how that compares to our own so i mean they have three battle cruisers here compared to our three battle cruisers we got eight battleships they have 15 to 17 so almost double the battleships of course they have the carriers we don't have any carriers because the italians and the and the germans didn't have carriers we have 15 heavy cruisers they have a few more than us a couple more heavy cruisers uh, they obviously have a lot more destroyers than we do like double the destroyers. Uh, light cruisers. Yeah, they've got more light cruisers as well. And submarines, we probably have a lot more than they do. Because we have a mainly submarine fleet. So, I mean, total we have 211 ships. But a lot of those are submarines. 
But that's not too bad of a fleet that we've we built up here because of those those peace treaties. So yeah, we can actually make use of that uh, along with naval bombers to try and destroy the British fleet. So while we're doing that, once we get France and, and uh, Belgium conquered, then we could work on the Fourth International because uh, we're able to send troops over there because most of our divisions we're just kind of sitting around not doing anything at that point. So yeah, we'll take a look at it at that point, guys. I hope you did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.